So after taking that supposed loss against Alabama Crimson Tide, I thought to myself, yo, we have got to get this team together if we are going to make it far into the playoffs. And luckily, we got ourselves a second chance, but this time it's against NC State out of all teams, okay? So believe it or not, we are in a vice grip here. And what I mean by that is that we are in a huge make or break position to where either we get to advance further in the playoffs for real this time or we go out sad. So either way, Georgia, this college team has got to do better. And so we are going to make a huge change. So with that being said, let's see exactly how we can make that set change, okay? And off rip, it started out similar to how it was last game because we were barely making any big time plays whatsoever. But guess what? Ricardo finally got a catch, a reception for the first time all of Eddie, as he should, because he is still working his way to becoming a prime starter on the Georgia team, okay? And so, the score is 0-0, zero to zero, as expected. And so, moving on, now NC State, for some reason, I feel like all teams, at a certain point, they score a field goal out of nowhere when all else fails. I mean, I don't know why almost every team we play on this mode just randomly kick a field Joel for the sake of it like I don't understand why but at the same time Ricardo luckily got that reception in because had that been a pick six I would have gotten extremely tight but guess what we got the lucky catch I'm not gonna lie I was lucky to catch that I will be the first one to admit okay so with that being said we are at a huge stake not really because it's still early in the game but so far we have still not been making a lot of huge plays right now because there are either not much happening, or it could also be the fact that my star QB, the quote-unquote player of the game, is not making enough plays for us. He can throw the ball here and there, but for the most part, whenever I'm trying to be open, he always passes it to the other receiver, which I'm not mad at sometimes, at least sometimes. Now, normally, I don't show this emotion in person, but in the back of my mind, I always kept thinking, oh my goodness, I wonder what play he is going to mess up at some point i wonder what he is about to do now and so that's how i'd be thinking in the back of my mind at points but nevertheless of course we also kicked a field goal do you see what i mean by not making enough big plays that's how short these videos be if we don't make enough plays despite the games being 15 minutes long at the same time they don't really feel like a game that is worth being 15 minutes long. Anyways, with that being said, the game is now 6-3. to three. And so Rico, yours truly, got the ball again. Another reception. So that's three receptions, in my opinion. But guess what? We have to punt the ball somehow. I'm not sure what's going on. I, I'm guessing it was a timeout. I didn't really pay too much attention, but we got the ball back either way later on. And so here we go, making these small plays. The coach, trust mechanic in this game, always we lie on smaller run plays okay when it comes to these run plays these plays i do not like because i want to make big moments happen in college football okay and right now the coach is not seeing that type of vision that i'm trying to carry as a wide receiver because i want everybody to catch the ball and not just run towards the first down second down third down fourth down whatever i do not want that to happen every play i want every play to be different so we can come up with different strategies to win a game and so it is not looking like such but at the same time we are lucky to even have a 10 point lead right now 8 to 18 and of course had that been my catch i would have you know done that same thing but let me stop being jealous okay so that dude that receiver caught the ball give us a first down that's cool now moving on again still haven't made a single big play yet at least at the moment and here i go catching the ball fourth reception but yet i haven't even gained that many yards because the defense is either trying to play with us or they're literally serious about winning but so far i kept getting benched here and there and now here i am getting benched throughout the rest of the game and that was it 15 and 29 that was it for me and so at this point rico is now thinking deeply in his mind what am i doing wrong to not get enough playing time after all of that quote-unquote 
coach trust that I built with my own coach. Now he wants to bench me on one of the most important games in the playoffs thus far. I feel like this team is starting to do me a little bit dirty. I'm starting to think that this team is doing me dirty. They don't want to see Rico succeed. They want him to be a water boy or a red shirt, whatever. They don't want me to be active on the field like everybody else. But you know what? It's cool. It's fine because guess what? I am still going to try to persevere on this team. And when I do, I am going to train harder. Rico is going to work harder, work smarter, study more, try to get active on the training field. And by that, I mean a practice field. Because I am going to try to prove to these people that Rico Ricardo is worth being noted as a Heisman contender. Or rather, a Heisman winner. So despite being snubbed for that said trophy, I am still not going to stop because we have a few more games to play before we advance to the national championship and so next game we will be meeting up against Oklahoma State University if I'm not mistaken so OSU that is the next team on our op list so get ready for another game coming mad soon